feel like it's been forever since I have sat down and filmed a video and I hope you guys have been enjoying what I've been posting on my channel lately. I've been putting a little bit more effort into the things I'm doing and I hope it's turning out well but I have kind of missed just like sitting down and chatting with you guys so I decided today to do a video that I have been planning out for so long and this is a video that I wish I had had a year ago and it would have really helped me. So this is going to be kind of a niche video meaning that it's not really going to appeal to everyone and it's not really going to be relevant to everyone but I'm going to be talking about products today that are fragrance free. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while you probably know that I am like pretty highly allergic to fragrance and um, when it comes to like skincare and body products. Um, I get very very itchy, my skin gets very dry and sometimes I break out in hives it's a mess. So about uh, maybe two years ago, some of them dating back three or four years ago, um, I started totally taking fragrance out of my body and skincare routine and it just totally changed my life. I really, really know now that that is a thing that I was, that was causing all of my problems. So I want to share with you guys today some of my tried and true fragrance free products. It's going to be a, maybe a little bit of a long video, but I hope it will be helpful to you guys because I know some of you, um, I've given recommendations to and you say that they've made life so much easier. So I hope this is helpful. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to warn you, my dog is being a little bit of a menace over there and I'm wearing a Christmas shirt. Yes, it's, I'm that person. I have a Christmas tree behind me, but my dog is making lots of noise and he's being bad, but if I put him in his kennel, he's going to cry. So we're going to have to suffer through this video together. So let's go ahead and get started. Get your bone and chill out. He's being such a puppy. Okay, so the first products I am going to be talking about are my body moisturizers and face moisturizers. This has been the biggest struggle for me in this fragrance-free process, is finding moisturizers that actually work and make you feel like you're getting some sort of moisture and it's not just sitting on top of your skin and it doesn't smell weird or, you know, ones that just generally don't work. I found the ones that have fragrance in them tend to be the moist, most moisturizing. And so that makes things difficult. But I have found three products I think you guys will enjoy if you need fragrance free products. And I'm gonna show you the drugstore option first because they do get a little bit expensive. And honestly, this one is still kind of expensive even though I got it at um, the drugstore. But this is the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And then this one advertises that it's fragrance free and dermatologist recommended and this is actually really good this does not sit on top of your skin it doesn't like not give you any moisture at all to where you feel like you're wasting your time putting it on it's good for hands it's good for feet it's good for legs and body i really like this this is definitely an affordable option and now my dog's gonna freaking eat his dinner he hasn't eaten all night and now he's gonna eat while i'm filming of course the next option I'm going to show you is kind of the middle of the road option in terms of price and that is the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is kind of a YouTube cult product which is why I thought to try it and this is really what I use for my hand cream most of the time. This is a really small container. I had one of the big like tubs of it for a long time but I finished that up and I forgot to keep the bottle for our little tub for this video but this is I think probably my favorite favorite product when it comes to lotion. It's so good. It's really light. It sinks into your skin immediately and it makes your skin feel really soft and awesome. And this one is also, this one says no parabens, harsh chemicals, or colorants. And I believe that it is indeed fragrance free. At least it is listed very, very far down in the ingredients. I don't see fragrance at all in the ingredients. So this is really awesome. Definitely give this a try. I think this bottle itself is maybe like 14 or 15, and then the big tub is like 30, um, but so, so worth it. The next one, and these are all almost empty, you'll be able to tell because I actually use them, but this is the Clinique Deep Comfort Body Moisture, and the reason I picked this up is because I actually use their deodorant, which I'll share with you in just a second, um, and I just wanted to give this a try. This is like $20, and this is a smaller bottle, um, so it is pretty, pretty pricey. Right, or mind your own business. It is pretty pricey, but again, this is a really, really, really good product. I ended up stop using it because I found something that was less expensive that I liked more, but this is still definitely a good option. All of Clinique's products are fragrance free, except for their perfumes, of course. Um, but this is really good. This is very moisturizing. It feels really good on your skin. And if you've ever used the moisturizer for your face from them, it's like the same thing, but for body. So I really like that. And those are my body products. And now my face moisturizers, 
I'm actually going to talk about three of them. I only have two of them here to show you, unfortunately. The first one I have, which is one of my very favorites, um, is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Extra Dry Skin. Be careful with this one because there is a version of this that is scented. Um, so just double check when you're buying it that you're getting this exact label. Um, I think that they have one that's not extra dry skin um, that's not scented as well. But just be careful because I accidentally bought the scented one one time and it was not good. Um, but this is really great and this is kind of a dupe for our drugstore version of the Clinique Moisture Surge, which is my favorite moisturizer of all time, but it's like 50 bucks a jar and I just can't afford that. Um, this one is still, this one's about 17, but honestly it's very, very similar and to me worth the money because it is really moisturizing and it feels so good on your skin because it's that like water base. So it's like cool and it feels really light and it feels very gel and like creamy and I love the way this feels. So this is definitely a favorite. A cheaper option that is so dirty that I'm almost embarrassed to show you the bottle is the Simple Replenishing Moisturizer, um, Rich Moisturizer. And this again is fragrance free and really great. Um, this is a very cheap option. I, like, I don't think that I've ever paid more than like $6 for a bottle of this and that's like stretch. Like I think I've usually gotten it for like two or four. Um, but this is really good. This is my morning morning moisturizer. That's hard to say. Um, and I use this every morning before I put my makeup on because it's really cheap. And this one is a little more expensive. So this is my nighttime cream or my like, my skin is so dry and needs help cream. And then this one is what I use in the mornings. Again, super good, pretty inexpensive. I feel like it's always on sale and you can always find coupons. Simple is a good brand. So they have a couple of other things you might really like too. And then the last one of course is the Clinique Moisture Surge. It is so good. It's like in a pink bottle. I'll like insert a picture somewhere of it. That is my ultimate favorite. It is, I fell in love with moisturizer when I had that product, but it's so expensive. So I don't have it because it's definitely a luxury when I do get to keep it. But those are all of my face and body moisturizers. I have a couple of other random fragrance free products that I think are really going to help you guys because they totally changed my life. Um, the first one I'm going to share with you is the Clinique Antiperspirant Deodorant Roll-On. Now I am highly allergic to deodorant. Like that was my real first venture into realizing how allergic to fragrance I was. Um, I broke out from like my elbow to my rib cage and it was just itchy and terrible and horrible and just hives everywhere. Um, so I ended up using the Alme fragrance free deodorant for a little bit but it's not an antiperspirant so I didn't really like that. So I, um, because my mom happened to come across it, I think in a magazine or something, figured out that Clinique makes a roll on deodorant and this stuff is amazing. It's so good, it's so gentle on your skin and it just feels so nice. But I will warn you that this is so expensive and every time I buy it, it gets more expensive. Um, but it's the only one I know of that's also an antiperspirant. So that's why I keep going back and buying it and I usually buy two at a time and just, it's expensive though, so if you have a recommendation for a deodorant that's fragrance free that still works really well, please let me know in the comments below. I need one cheaper than this. But if you're having that problem where you feel like your armpits just itch all the time, try fragrance free. You might find that it helps you a lot. Okay, moving on to hair products. Now you guys, this was the biggest change of my entire life was switching to fragrance free shampoo and conditioner. That sounds weird, but this free and clear shampoo and conditioner have totally changed my life in so many ways. And you may think, oh, it's a product. It hasn't done anything for your life. You don't understand how screwed up my scalp was for so many years because I was using fragrance shampoo. I had dandruff, I had flakes, I had sores, I just had, it just was oily but also dry and it was so bad you guys and maybe you think that's gross but I'm telling you that it was so bad that I was just like so desperate to figure out like I had prescription stuff I was putting on it and I was miserable and then I for some reason it clicked with me that I was like oh maybe I should see if there's such thing as a fragrance free shampoo and conditioner. Turns out there is, but it's exclusively sold at Walgreens and online, I believe. I can't find it anywhere else but Walgreens and Amazon. So it's kind of hard to get a hold of. It's a little bit expensive, but you guys, after two or three months of using this, I saw it, I saw an instant difference when I started using it. Even the first time my hair felt so comfortable and nice, but after like two or three months, my scalp is normal, you guys, and it is the most amazing feeling to not have an itchy scalp all the time and not be worried about it flaking or having sores or anything. This is amazing. The shampoo, I will warn you, is a, it's pretty drying, which is why I also have the conditioner um, because I do put the conditioner all over my hair. Typically, they tell you not to do that, 
I do it anyway because I need to because of this is pretty drying but um, they work really well together this does not really foam up so you're gonna have to get used to not having the foaming shampoo um, but these are really really great I love both of them um, I always have those around and I can tell now if I put anything fragranced in my hair whether that's like hairspray or dry shampoo which I still sneak every once in a while and just kind of deal with the fact that it makes me itchy but if you have a recommendation for a dry shampoo that's fragrance free, please let me know. I would love to know. Um, but one thing else I have here, which is not fragrance free, but it's still okay for me because it um, doesn't actually touch my skin ever, but it is the Aussie three minute miracle moist, um, like deep conditioner. I use this as my everyday conditioner. So whenever I wash my hair, I use this, but I use it just from about here down. Um, because this, because that shampoo is so drying, I feel like I really need it, but because it's not actually touching my scalp, um, it does touch my body, but it rinses off. So it's okay. Um, but I put it about here down and this helps kind of save my hair from the really drying shampoo. Okay. And then I have like three more products I'm going to talk about, um, that I have kind of either used for a long time or recently discovered. Um, the first ones are ones I've used for a long time now that are great and you might not think about, and it's fragranced lip products. Um, my lips were really chapped and just always dry and terrible. So I decided to switch over to fragrance free products. This is really dirty because it's been in my purse. Um, but this is the Nivea, a kiss of smoothness, hydrating lip care. This is the stick version of it. They're pretty similar, but it's also the best, um, chapstick I've ever used just in terms of how it feels and how it goes. So I keep one of these with me most of the time. Um, I love this smooth kiss lip butter. This is so great. Something's making a strange noise. Um, this is so great. It's like a little pot. It feels good. You can put it on your cuticles. You can put it on your hands, whatever you want to do. Neither one of these have fragrance in them. And that's super awesome. Okay. And then the last things I'm going to talk about are, um, sort of recent discoveries. This razor is not, but, oh, it's got a big hair on it. <laughs> um, but this is the Chic no Venus razor from Gillette and it is called the Embrace Sensitive Skin. Um, this has really, really helped me shaving wise because my legs get so, so dry um, because my skin is super sensitive. Um, and this is really great. It's got kind of a, um, not like a shave bar on it. It might be considered a shave bar, but it's got this really smoothing stuff on the end of it. I love that. And then this is my newest discovery in the world of fragrance-free products. And again, it is one of those things that I didn't realize was because of fragrance. And I've been using fragrance shaving creams for years and years and years. I've never used a fragrance free one. And I saw this on display at Target. I think this is a new product. I'm not 100% sure. It's called Satin Care by Gillette and it is fragrance free and dye free. Um, and it is ultra sensitive, ultra sensible irritation defense shave gel. I will say that a little tiny bit of this will cover both of your legs. So be careful when squirting it out. But honestly, this has made my legs not so dry. And I didn't realize that that's what the problem was until I decided to give that a try when I ran out of shaving cream. Um, last time and honestly it's amazing it's so good and i really think that you should try it if you have very very dry legs and no matter what you do they're always dry try taking out fragr fragrance and you might see a huge difference so those are all the products that i use on a normal basis that are fragrance free um that really work for me especially especially if you have scalp problems try going fragrance fee free it totally changed my like entire well-being and like stress level went down when I finally got that under control um and the deodorant as well um really changed me a lot so I'm always in the market for new fragrance free products let me know if you know of any um that I should try out I am so open to everything so let me know in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if it helped you or if it was interesting these are great products regardless of whether or not you need to go fragrance free so give them a try and i will see you in my next video my name is parker this is stories in the dust and i really hope you'll stick around a while bye guys